You can do it. situation going on so we gonna play the night by ear we might just kind of chill we both kind of really tired from the last few days so we are about to like i said head down and go find gordiano's i think that's how you say it if it's not my bad but hopefully it's good because i want to try the chicago deep style pizza apparently that's a thing the thing at first glance i'm not gonna hold you it does not look appealing but i'm gonna 
gonna try it. I'll try anything at least once, you know? So we're about to go do that. And we love pizza too. So I'm really trying to see what Chicago pizza is about. So hopefully it's good and it's not too, too packed. I mean, it's midweek. So I'm hoping that we don't run into too much traffic, even though it's summertime. But we're gonna see. So let's go. I thought it was closed, but it's not. It's open. So. And now I have to test the bean just because I feel like it's what's necessary. Oh, you can go under the bean. Let's see what's under here. If there's anything special. Probably not. But reflection pictures are kind of dope. So let me see. People are taking them. day two in Chicago as you can see I literally just woke up and I need all that sleep my husband is still sleeping that's why I'm being a little bit more quiet I left him in the room um, but we are about to get up and get started with our day today is our actual anniversary and this is 
is year nine. Okay, so next year is 10 years being married and I am mind blown, okay? Um, but I really hope y'all can hear me because I'm not talking that loud, but I know I sound like a man. I just woke up again. Give me grace. Um, but it looks like it might have rained last night or something. The roads look a little wet. Maybe, I don't know. If it did, we didn't hear it, so... I'm excited to go out and explore some more of Chicago today. We'll probably keep it real chill just because it is our anniversary. I do really want to do the architectural boat tour. So I think we're going to do that. I'm just trying to decide if we want to do it during the daytime or if we want to do the sunset one because I feel like that would be really, 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 really pretty. But I also want to see the buildings and the water like really, really well. So I'm not sure exactly how we're going to do that but I definitely want to do that and there's a couple of other things on the itinerary we haven't again this was a last minute idea to save our desire to go somewhere for our anniversary so I don't have everything planned to the T but shout out to my girl T's she sent me her and her husband's itinerary so I'm kind of matching with that a lot of the things that they had on there I already had in my vault or in my chamber um, of things to sort through and place on the itinerary so i'm grateful to her for that because that's super helpful so i'm gonna glance at their itinerary and see what we haven't hit what we didn't hit yesterday and see how we want to kind of maneuver because we're going to be here for quite a few days so i say quite a few days we're going to be here for about five days so four nights five days so that's plenty of time i feel like to kind of explore it's just about timing it right because my thing is if we're coming to a city i want to actually explore the city like this is not giving like oh we're in turks and caicos which is one of the places we were going to go um and we're just at the beach or at an all-inclusive resort or whatever you know so um but chicago is so beautiful like it is really pretty like i am mesmerized like I'm, i keep looking out the window because these buildings are incredible um so i'm excited to go explore more of that and see what we get into today now i know some of y'all might have judged me some of you that might be from chicago or have been to chicago i just want to apologize because i was saying gordianos yesterday that is clearly not the name of that place it's giordano's so my bad this is my time to correct, um, which I assumed it was because Italian, right? G. But I guess in my mind, when I was looking at recommendations or when I was looking at people's, you know, videos, just giving ideas of places to go and like what we would really be interested in, people were mispronouncing it and saying Gordano's. And so I just, it just registered in my brain that way. Cause I was like, well, maybe I'm wrong. Clearly I'm not. And my husband corrected me and so i don't know why he let me just keep saying it like that but anyway i apologize but the pizza was fire like again i think i told y'all yesterday like when i looked online like, the pizza doesn't look that great like the deep dish is what we try to be clear they're famous for their deep dish pizza and so that's what we tried we just got a i think we got the either the smallest one the personal one or the one right after that that feeds like two to three people because they can be really, really big. But at first glance, I'm like, ooh, I don't know if I'm gonna like this. But it was really good, and we both really enjoyed it. Like I said, we're pizza people. We like pizza. We literally order pizza every weekend in our house, and we have done that since we were dating. Um, we would get together and get pizza. Excuse me. Um, and so, and our kids, they know. Saturday comes, we're getting pizza. I don't know where we're getting it from, but we're gonna get some pizza. So, it was really exciting to kind of get there and try their deep dish pizza we really enjoyed it we had some of their hot wings too and those were really good now it said they said they were gonna take an hour to bring us that pizza and at first i was like excuse me but the hot wings came out in like 10 minutes and so we ate those and we just had a good old time we just chilled and laughed and played little games and stuff like that and so 
that was really good it the time went by fast honestly i didn't even notice that an hour had passed if it was even a full hour but it was real cool and then we got some pictures taken and they had a photographer kind of walking around and taking pictures of families and people and then they would give you like the souvenir type photo and so i was like oh that's cute i wasn't planning on getting one and the lady walked by us so many times i didn't think she was gonna stop at us which i wasn't looking for her to we were just chilling but she did eventually and we took the pictures and then we went ahead and got a couple because i was most and i was like <laughs> so we did that um and then after that we went around and we walked to the bean to millennial park which that was really cool to see by there they had some type of event going on um it sounded like a orchestra or something was playing and so people were really just sitting out on the lawn in one area and then like i said we saw the bean walked up to that there were a lot of people around it but i'm sure we'll go back it's not far at all and then we walked around downtown just a little bit we saw zara and stuff like that we didn't go into any stores because we needed to get back um to handle some other things and to you know talk to our boys before they go to bed and we both were really tired honestly i had a little energy but after that pizza i was like all right babe <laughs> don't tell my husband that but we went ahead and came back and then we were gonna go back out, but I'm like, once I'm in and it's nighttime, I'm here. So we stayed in and we just kind of chilled. We watched the game and we just talked some more and just laughed some more. And then I did fall asleep a little early, so I kind of, I gotta get my life together today um, because I definitely fell asleep last night a little bit on the earlier side. So. I feel a little bad for that, but I was knocked out and I got some good sleep, okay? Good sleep. I don't know what we're going to do today, but either way, I'm going to bring y'all along. So, let's get the day started. <laughs> Starbucks and then I guess you got one too. 
and then um, I'm trying to remember what else we got because I'm not sure. There's a lot of stuff in this bag, so I'm gonna leave it alone. Oh, let's see. We got a cannoli and a cinnamon roll, and then of course we got some coffee because I mean, coffee's a must. But we're gonna see how this is. It's not. I should have asked them to warm it up because it's not really that warm, but. check out see what they have it's a looks like a three-story or four-story H&M so I'm going to get in here and see if they have a couple of things before I go back to meet him or I think he's gonna actually come over here to meet me and then we're gonna probably get ready to go grab some lunch and do the the boat tour that I talked about it was a little cloudy today it's still a little bit cloudy I'm not sure if y'all can hear me because I'm right by the street but it was a little cloudy today it's starting to clear up a little bit and the sun's coming out so hopefully by the time we get done doing all of this, it'll be out and we can kind of go um, to do the boat tour. Because I want it to be sunny and nice outside. So let's go see what this H&M is talking about.
feel it out here. We're about to go and do the tilt. We're at 360 in Chicago, where you go up like on the 94th floor. And so we're about to go and do the tilt car. Hopefully I can record, I'm not sure, but uh, we'll see what happens. Hold on. This. We go, okay. Let's do it like this. We go, okay. Let's do it. Let's do it. Shot We're gonna take you back on this. The sun is setting. And it's so pretty. Look at, ooh, look at that. You see that behind you? That is so pretty. It low key makes me want to do the sunset one because it's like we would go from where it's sunny and then it'll drop like this while we're like going through the water. Or would you rather do it in the daytime? Why? I mean, I guess 
because we kind of been out here for the sunset ish. Yeah. Cause I think the water gonna be glistening, the building's gonna be glistening. It's gonna just look real nice. Hopefully it's sunny tomorrow. Yeah. Like. <laughs> Thank you. 
believe what you told me. What'd you say? Be Why? Come on, coach. Go ahead. You said what? On his part. Well, it didn't end how we wanted, but that's the feedback from coach. So it is what it is. I thought that was a good game. I do agree with some points. But it is what it is. We had a good time. And now we gotta get somewhere to go. Are we gonna get something? Okay, I'll be right back.